Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Drodas, Bible teacher and preacher, and you are watching Solving the Prophetic Puzzle, where each week I take one piece of the prophetic puzzle, look at it, and try to figure out where we are at in these last days, and what's happening and what's going to happen. Today I want to share with you a last days, end, day, end times dream. This dream occurred a few months ago, actually it occurred in February of 2020, and it, this dream was so real, I felt that I was actually there. It was in full color. Um, I could hear everything and see everything with clarity. But in this dream, I was in, in the city. And as I was walking through the city, wherever I went, I saw large cameras, four or five or six cameras lined up in a row. And, and they had the, the coverings over them, the big plastic coverings over them. And they were surveillance cameras. And they were all over the place. They were on every corner. They were in every, every, every store. They were on stop signs and stop lights. And, and they, they were everywhere. And all of us who were in the city knew that we were constantly being monitored and constantly being watched. As I walked through the city, I, I then looked up into the air. And I saw, uh, I saw helicopters, but these were smaller helicopters than the, the big choppers that you see. They were, they were manned by two people. One was a driver and one was in the back. And, and the thing about these helicopters was that they were totally um, clear. They were made of like transparent glass or, or plastic or some material that you could see all the way through the helicopter. And you could see the two people, the two men in the helicopter. You could see the driver. And the, and the man in the back, he was standing up and he had what looked like a machine gun on a turret. And, and these helicopters would fly low over the city, surveying crowds and monitoring everything that was going on. It was a very unsettling time. And, and then, um, then next, uh, a few weeks later, I was pondering about this dream and I was journaling this dream and I was at home at the time because it was in March, uh, late March of 2020 and my work had encouraged all of us to stay home. They told us not to come to work, that we were to stay home because we had to flatten the curve and um, it would only be for a short time period and then we could all come back to work. So while I was at home, I began to pray and study the Word, and as I was praying, this time I had a vision. Now, the, a dream is something that you have when you're asleep. The vision is something that I had. I was fully awake, but I was in prayer, but I saw these things transpire in my head, and I, and I heard a voice kind of narrating the whole thing. And in the vision, I saw um, what I referred to as the great transformation that will occur. And I began to see the society and see flashes of society occur. And I heard this voice begin to narrate this. And this voice, which I would assume would be the Lord, said the coronavirus is a dress rehearsal or a practice run for a world shutdown. This will get better soon. And then there will be a short period of prosperity. But another more powerful virus will come and it will shut the entire world down. The stock market, the markets will be dismantled and, and the governments will be totally stymied. Suddenly, without notice, the grid, the power grid will go off. Now, I'm not sure if this is worldwide uh, blackout or worldwide or United States grid going off, you know, out, off power grid or just the East Coast, but somewhere the, the power is going to go out. And it will go out for a couple, you know, a few days, maybe two weeks at the most. And the internet will go off as well. And there'll be, the, the citizens will be encouraged to stay indoors to avert the, da the present danger that is, that is happening. We won't have any news. We won't have any, any communication with others outside of where we're, where we're at. And the only communication we will get is what, the, what we will be leaked to us, will be given to us from the government or those who, who are in authority. Then after a week or two, the, the grid will come back on. I saw all this in this vision. The grid will come back on and, and the government, the, the president and the vice president who, are, who are, were, were in power before the grid went off will no longer be there. 
and people will ask, well, what happened to the, the president and the vice president? And nobody will g give a straight answer. There'll just be a new president, and there'll be a new form of leadership, and a new government, and a new vice president. And then they will, they will introduce new money. I saw that new money will be introduced, and this money will, will kind of be like paper, but there, there won't be any numbers on it. And there won't be any coins. We will no longer be using coins. This will only be for a temporary time frame until the government introduces what they will call the mark, whereby it will be a cashless society altogether. Of course, there will be, there will be citizens who, who won't like this. There will be civil unrest, and they will try to rise up and, and, and stop all of, of these changes, but it will be quickly squashed and um, put aside. Uh, things will continue on for a while, and then in, in uh, 2023, I saw that these nations that, that the Bible talks about in Ezekiel chapter 37 and 38, these nations will rise up and they will attack Israel, or they will attempt to attack Israel. But the Bible says in Ezekiel 37 and 38 that these nations will be totally destroyed, their armies will be uh, totally wiped out. And at that point in time, I saw uh, the beast, the Antichrist, rise up. And in 20, probably by January 2025, you, 2024, January 2024, this man of perdition, this man of sin, this Antichrist, will make a covenant, or he will ratify a covenant with the many, um, between Israel and the many and the world, and then we will see the beginning of Daniel's 70th week, or the last seven years on the earth. So in the meantime, as believers, we need to continue to uh, press in to study the word, pray, get close to God. Uh, trust God. Don't be dismayed. Don't lose heart. Be strong and be courageous. Um, God put us here for this time, for this reason, for, you know, for this place. We're not here by accident, so we can handle this. So stay tuned. If you like what you're seeing, stay tuned. I'll probably talk about the Gog-Magog War in another, in another class. But if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Um, if you want to leave a comment, great. I read every comment. Thank you for your encouragement. And we will see you next time on Solving the Prophetic Puzzle.